Hello everyone, I'm Kelsey Lemon, Technical Marketing Manager for VMware Skyline, and I want to welcome you to the Day 2 Mastery Series where we answer the question, now that I've installed Skyline, now what? So in this segment, we're going to show how you can create and manage organizations within Skyline. If you're already leveraging Skyline, you've already gone through the three-step process of creating an organization within VMware Cloud Services, deploying a Skyline Collector within vCenter Server, and registering your Skyline Collectors and an organization within VMware Cloud Services. And quite frankly, that single organization may be enough for you. But there may be instances where you may want to consider having multiple organizations. For example, you may want to have Skyline and its collectors align with the way your company is organized. Here's a use case. If your company has several departments or business units that need dedicated resources in their own environments, you may want to consider assigning a Skyline collector to those specific environments so that you can proactively monitor them independently of each other. With that said, the service is called Skyline, so let's get you off the ground with this great feature. To begin the creation process, you need to create an organization and assign the Skyline Collector service to it. To do this, simply go to the VMware Skyline Getting Started page, where you will be redirected to the VMware Cloud Services page. After you've logged in, you will be prompted to create a new organization. And if you have existing organizations already created, you have the option to associate the collector with one of them. But for this exercise, I'll create a new organization and I'll give it a very creative name, my organization. But in all seriousness, you should name your organization something that is meaningful to you, especially if you're aligning Skyline's organizations to your own business units. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my address. And if you've already created previous organizations, you'll be able to select an existing address as well. And for the next step, I have to associate the appropriate support entitlement to my organization. As you know, Skyline is only available to production and premier customers, so we have to do this step to determine if I'll get access to Skyline's production level features or its premier level features. I've included a table here to see the key feature differences for both levels of support, but I highly recommend going to the Skyline Advisor Getting Started page for more detail. Next, I have to download and configure the Skyline Collector. This process is captured in another video, and I've included the link here. You can also review the installation and configuration guide that's included as part of Skyline's documentation. And after the collector has been installed, it'll need to be registered via a token. Um, I should point out here that after a registration token has been generated, it'll be valid for only 12 hours, and if that token expires, you must generate a new one. Finally, if you have existing collectors that you'd like to have associated with this new organization, you can do that here as well before accessing the Skyline Advisor service. All right, with that done, now that I'm inside the Skyline Advisor service, you'll notice that I'm getting proactive findings for another organization that I'm managing. And as you saw at the beginning of the video, I had several organizations already created before I started the new one. Which actually leads me to another point. Skyline Advisor is my single point of entry for all of my proactive findings. I don't have to go to multiple places to get information. It's all in a single and very secure location. To see the status of my other organizations, I simply go to the user organization settings in the upper right corner of my browser and select change organization. All of my organizations are at my fingertips, even the new one that I just created. By selecting it, I'll be able to see its current state, such as all the proactive findings that are unique to this specific organization, as well as support requests. And since Skyline gives you the ability to receive notifications about the organizations that you either manage or simply a member of, you can customize your organization settings to prioritize the type of information that you'd like to receive, such as the availability of operational summary reports, log assist requests, product announcements, new critical findings, as well as information about when your collective password will expire. 
Now before I end this demonstration, I want to show one more thing. Now that you have more than one organization, you can always change the default organization to the one that you prefer. But again, it's only an option because as you saw, you can easily navigate to the other organizations with the change organization feature. And with that, this concludes my demonstration on how to create and manage organizations in Skyline. Be sure to come back for more videos as I continue to expand on the day two content.